Hi, I'm Kim Piazza. Welcome back to What's the Buzz in Western New York. Have you ever thought about making wine at home? How about home brewing, but you're just not sure what to do? Our friends at Let's Do Wine and Beer have everything you need to get started. We're here at Let's Do Wine. Wine and beer making? We're gonna go find Wendy and have some fun. Hi, Wendy. Oh, hi, Kim. How are you? It's so it's good nice to, see to meet you. you. There's so much to look at, so many interesting things here in your store. This is perfect for the holidays. And we're getting ready for the holidays. These are the gifts for the for the people who have everything. Oh, I, I, I think, I think. So anyone that wants to get in. started making beer, we have everything here. Are these examples of some of the things that come in your kits yes. for for beer? but also for wine. But let's start on this side. Let's start with the beer. When people come in and they want to make beer, they basically need two things. They mm -hmm. need an equipment kit and they need an ingredient kit. And we have everything all prepackaged so it's easy for, especially someone that wants to get someone a gift for the holidays, they can just leave with two boxes. So it's a no-brainer. Right. It's, it's oh, absolutely. not intimidating whatsoever because it's all right there. It's very easy, yes. And so, we have, we have a lot of instruction. We have online uh, videos as well as you can come into the store and take classes. So if you come into the store, say I say I purchased, you know, the, the beer making kit mm -hmm. for my brother and he lives in Jamestown. So he's not going to be able to come into the store, but he could go online and it's it's um, set up so he can be tutored online if Absolutely. he runs into a Absolutely. And even the instructions that come, you get a great book with your starter kit mm -hmm. as well as you get instructions in every ingredient kit. So it's going to walk you through it step by step. Very easy to do. Every ingredient kit has it all of the ingredients and the equipment kit has all of the equipment. Right. The only thing that they're going to need are bottles and you can either recycle bottles or resell so them. So you, you, don't, you don't drink the beer right out of, right <laughs> well, out of here, could. right out of the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're not in college anymore, are we, Wendy? <laughs> I don't think you'd be very happy because it's going to be flat at that point okay, too. So, okay. Because after we get it in the bottle, it goes through a carbonation process and that's where it gets its nice fizz from. So. Otherwise, we wouldn't. We wouldn't probably taste it. No, yeah. no, not meant to be. <laughs> no. <laughs> and let's see. We're going to move down the table a little bit, and it looks to me like we're you've going got, into the wine territory. You've got something mm -hmm. sitting out here that I'm very interested and in. Actually, I just bottled this last night. Did you? You made this, and I knew you were coming, so I opened a bottle. And I breakfast a wine. Yeah, it is. It's breakfast wine, and this is our label that I made. You we, made. You made this label here in the store. Yes. This is thing. Thank you. It's breakfasting. Breakfast, breakfast sangria with Wendy <laughs> at Let's Do Wine and Beer. Salute. Salute. Oh, how nice. Mm. Smells wonderful. Mm. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> I say so myself. Oh, this is really good. This is really, really good. All of the ingredients for this are here in the store. Absolutely. How long did it take for you to create this masterpiece that I'm going to continue to drink? I actually mm. made this just four weeks ago. Mm. Mm -hmm. it's, um, it's very easy to do. And again, four weeks same. to ferment? Mm -hmm. Four weeks from the time you start making it till the time you bottle. Now, some wines, this one, for example, um, because it's a little bit sweeter, it's a sangria, mm -hmm. it's, it's ready faster, okay? So when you bottle it, it really doesn't need a lot of age time. But if we were doing like a um, Pinot Noir or a Cabernet from California, we'd probably want to get some age time. So I see. usually about four to six months. Well, this is awfully yummy. It four is. weeks <laughs> is good to me. So as we move down your table, pick up your sangria, I Wendy. Will. We have to drink. Don't make I me will. drink alone. No, I would never do that. <laughs> Tell me what we're looking at here. So this is this is the beer. That's this is right. the wine. Mm -hmm. And talk to me about what I'm looking at on this end so of the, the table. So the same thing with the, the beer is the wine you would take an equipment kit. All right. So mm -hmm. when people came in to either buy a gift for someone or buy it for those, themselves, they would get an equipment kit as well as every time they'd make a batch of wine, they would get an ingredient kit. And this is one of our juices here. This is a nice blend from California. And we also have the whole store is full of different juices and varietals that you can make. So whatever whatever someone prefers, it's here. Right. Whatever mm -hmm. taste palette absolutely knocks Sweet, you out. Dry, mm -hmm. white, red, we've got it all. So right. It's a lot of fun. 
Well, I want to see the rest of the store, Wendy. Oh, absolutely. I'll follow you. Bring your wine. Oh, I will. <laughs> Should I get the bottle? <laughs> As we're walking through here, if you take a look, and all of these things are for cleaning and sanitizing. But oh, that's important, isn't it? It really is. And that's the only thing that I really stress to my customers because it's very easy to do, but we have to make sure that everything is clean and sanitized. You wouldn't want to use household detergents or anything, so we sell... They leave a residue, you don't want to drink exactly, that, and that chemical. Exactly. And a lot of this, it says no rinse, one step cleaner. I need no rinse, one step cleaner for my entire house. <laughs> <I know. laughs> we really make it convenient, they really do. Yeah. So it's very easy to do. And the brushes mm -hmm. for the big barrels yeah. and for your carboys, everything. Yeah. For all your containers, men. They really do love this because it goes on the end of a drill and it'll clean your can. Yeah. Oh, cool. It just spins the crazy. Great big fermenting uh -huh. container, it will clean that for you. So that is how you clean Absolutely. This. That is known as a carboy. And I, I expect this would be difficult to clean without a tool like that. Right. Well, you can use a brush, but mm -hmm. like I said, people like to put things onto their drill. Uh, make it down, <laughs> motorized. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So you're really super cleaning it. So do you find um, that the men prefer to make the beer and women prefer to make the wine? Can I, I think, pour you some more sangria? I, sure. I think women prefer men to make everything and they drink it. <laughs> I'll drink to that. <laughs> What's over here, Wendy? Oh, let's see what we have. We have uh, oak chips. Like, we wouldn't... This is wood. Yeah, it's oak. This is for my fireplace? This is actually French oak. What do we do with this? <laughs> what we do with that, because we don't store the wine in barrels, because we're home wine making, uh -huh. we add the oak to the wine. So this does the job of the barrel? Absolutely. Well, that's really neat. Mm -hmm. So you don't need big, huge barrels in your home, just some chips. Right? Yeah. And every one of our wine kits is sold with that. So for people that maybe press their own grapes, we mm -hmm. sell it individually. And that's what a lot of the and stuff And there's is. different uh, there's different woods here. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm assuming that each one has its own unique there's flavor. American oak, Hungarian oak, and French oak. Ooh. American oak is used more in Chardonnays. So I thought this was chocolate, but I was wrong. No, that's not chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Although we do have cocoa nibs in the back. Do so we? We'll get to that. OK, <laughs> we'll get there. But that is, it's actually oak, oak cubes. cubes. Mm -hmm. And what they are, they're toasted just like they would the inside of a barrel, okay? Right. And then um, the the lighter oak is going to be used for different different types of grape varieties. This is just a really smart way to get that flavor. Absolutely. What's in the back of the store? Well, these um, pails here have all of our grains, and here's even more stuff that we have for our beer brewers. So here's some ingredients if you want to make some choices that are different from what comes in your kit. Exactly. So this is for when you're uh, maybe accustomed to making the wine or the beer, and you want to experiment a little. Yes. Then and you, you want to create your really own recipe, go crazy. and it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. I, I want the dark Belgian <laughs> candied sugar. This looks awesome. I think I, I would eat this right out of the bag, yeah, right? you can, actually. But you, do you put this in the beer and the wine? Yes. Mm -hmm. No, just the beer. Just the beer? Just the beer, pretty much. And what do we have here, this refrigeration this, this case? Is, um, all of the key to making great wine and beer is having really fresh ingredients. So we get in fresh yeast hops weekly and all of our grains in weekly. So this is, um, we have to keep them refrigerated. Our yeasts are refrigerated as well as our hops. That's great. So, we get so them that's all really fresh. important. Yes, absolutely. Fresh is best. Mm -hmm. Okay, so well, I guess I need to shop now. Oh, okay. I'll meet Do you at the register. Do shopping? Great. Okay, thanks, Wendy. This is fantastic. You're going to love it. You're going to make everyone on your Christmas list very happy. Thank you, Wendy. <laughs> oh, thanks for coming. Here, and don't forget your wine. Oh. Oh, if you could move this, I can drink my wine. If you can move. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't take oh, your wine, shoot. right? <laughs> Let's Do Wine and Beer is located at 5864 Transit Road in Depew. Stop in and see what they have to offer. Give them a call at 716-686-9969 and online at letsdowine.com.
still ahead, this Italian singer will have you swooning. But up next, getting ready for tax season. Mm-hmm. 